Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video and today I'm doing a color change fill-in on some nails I did about two to three weeks ago. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove her stones and when y'all doing this, please move your face out the way because I kid you not, these stones were flying back at me. So now I'm going to file her nails down as much as I can and I'm using a 5-in-1 coarse nail drill bit and of course I'm going to leave it in the description box down below. Since I want to remove this acrylic as fast as possible I did turn it on a higher speed and also when you're using your drill at a higher speed, you don't really want to stay in the same place for too long. So you guys are going to see that I'm constantly moving around the nail because I don't want any part of her nail to get hot. Also, for the most part, I was filing downwards on the body of the nail and across from right to left near the cuticle area. Also, y'all, please don't mind my nails because I know somebody's going to say something. Like, I'm already knowing they fat. Like, I have not been in the mood to do my own nails for some reason. Every time I'm ready to do my own nails, I just stop caring. I don't know what it is, but... We're going to ignore them today. So I do like this drill bit for removing acrylic, but I kind of just feel like there's possibly something better out there. So if you guys know a drill bit that works really really well for removing the acrylic please let me know So this may take a little while, so in the meantime, let me keep y'all entertained. So, let me tell you about why I no longer allow people to bring in extra guests. When I first started doing nails, I was working out of my house, and I would allow people to bring one extra guest just because, like, you know, you're in my house, and I just wanted people to be comfortable. That's where I messed up. The first time I had a small issue involved my client and her best friend and long story short they had gotten to a real bad argument right in front of me as I'm doing her nails and the argument was really starting to escalate and they were really starting to yell at each other and I'm like hold up hold up hold up y'all being mad ghetto like y'all in my house right now yelling at each other like it's not a salon it's not outside it's not a public place this isn't outside this is my house, y'all can't just be yelling at each other. So I had to just let them know, like, I can't work like this. One and two, she's moving. So I can't properly lay this acrylic. And it was really just awkward silence for, like, the remainder of the appointment. But I would prefer that over, like, y'all yelling at each other. Like, how am I supposed to function? First of all, forget how I'm supposed to function. You at somebody's house. What?
so the next problem I had is when I allowed one of my clients to bring her boyfriend and this really wasn't the best decision I made. It was probably like within six to seven months of me doing nails and the only problem I really had with them was the fact that they were talking to each other as if I just wasn't there. Like, I kid you not, they're, they're talking about anything you could think of. Like, I'm sitting there like like why like why y'all having this conversation in front of me though and back then when i first started doing nails i really wasn't speaking up on my rules or like things i really didn't like when people did as i would now but as i said i wasn't back then so i was just sitting there like um like i don't even know what to say if i should tell them to stop because this is weird like it was just too much then I guess he was gonna like fly her out the country for X amount of dollars and she just felt like that wasn't enough and she deserved more. She was gonna ask me would I go out the country for that amount of money. I don't even remember. I think it was a few thousands. Like it wasn't a small amount of money. And I'm sitting there like in my head I'm like yes like what but i was just like honestly i don't know like i'm just an tech. like i don't know what they're talking about really just ignoring them at this point because y'all really sitting here chatting of course there was more but i think i'll get into the details of that story in another day because that whole thing was just ridiculous and i can't believe i forgot that Also guys, I do recommend getting a dust collector. It'll be super beneficial, especially when you're doing services like this one. And I did just order one. So I'm gonna let you guys know about the one that I ordered when I get it. So as I was doing this, the thumb did end up cutting out of the video. So I'm just gonna chop that part of the video off so you guys aren't looking at me file nothing. After I finished filing her nails down, I am going to push her cuticles back and I honestly could have filed her nails down a little more now that I'm looking back at it, but luckily they still came out real cute. Here I'm using a sanding band to remove the shine of my client's natural nail and I'm also going to go over the acrylic with my sanding band as well but only in the upper area near the cuticle. Also guys, I'm using my sanding band on a very low speed but as I'm filing over the acrylic I do apply more pressure.
I'll also be using this cuticle bit that I got off of Amazon and when you're using cuticle bits for the most part you want to have them pretty parallel to the natural nail and when I was first using cuticle bits I was using them as if I was sealing the cuticles and I was wondering why it wasn't working another thing is normally when I'm doing this I do this first I do this before I start using my sanding band but for whatever reason, I ended up doing this last. But as I said, when you're doing this, you do want to start from the right to the left. And it is on a slow speed, just as before with the sanding band. So when prepping her nails, I use my NSI dehydrator, a Young Nails Protein Bond, as well as a No Lift Primer. And I use the protein balm because I feel like that's really the reason why my nails be lasting about a month for the most part. But I really be thinking that people forget that nails is really only supposed to last two weeks. So your nails lasting a month is like phenomenal. I did apply a very thin layer of clear acrylic to her natural nail before starting the application. I'm not too sure if I did this on all of her nails. I normally do, but I think I was a little nervous about making the nails too thick on some of the nails. Therefore, I should have filed them down some more. But when you're doing color change fill-ins, you want to make sure that you're using a color that's darker than the previous one. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do is place my bead right around the area where the blue begins and I'm slowly going to pull my acrylic down and my bead was a little runny. This brush is a size 16 and my size 14 brushes were just destroyed. I honestly should have been got new brushes but I'm using the size 16 that I got from my local nail supply store and I'm really not a fan. Right now I'm just cleaning up the sidewalls of the nails and I should have dried this bead out a little more before applying it since my brush is bigger. Now I'll be applying my second bead of acrylic and you guys can see that before I start to blend the acrylic down, I'm going to first make sure that the top of the bead is flat to the nail. This way my application will remain smooth and you don't just want to start wiping down once you apply the acrylic. So now I'll be doing the cuticle application and since my brush is a little bigger than before, 
it did take me kind of messing up on this nail a little bit because I did save it but it did take me messing up on this nail for me to understand how to use the brush a little more on the next nine nails Here I was just fixing some areas that I just felt like needed some more purple acrylic and for the most part when I'm doing any minor fixes I do use dry beads. Now I'm applying a very thin layer of clear acrylic onto this nail and I didn't use a lot of the clear acrylic because there's already acrylic underneath this. So with this being on top, there really doesn't need to be a thick layer of clear acrylic on top. And with Nail by John's acrylic, you don't have to cap them anyway, but I cap them because it's my preference. Here I'm applying a glitter acrylic to my client's nail and I'm not really too sure why I did this knowing I was going to end up putting pixie crystals back on top of this nail but this glitter acrylic is from my upcoming collection guys. I'm going to give you guys details on that maybe in the next video but I just want to make sure that everything is perfect for you guys with my store before I release it. By the way guys, some of my clients natural nails are sideways. It's not really her natural nail, it's really her fingertips. I kind of feel like are a little off to the side. So I was trying to position her fingers in a way that would be best for you guys to see as I was working. And I had noticed this like the first time she came. This has to be her 10th time that she's been to me. And unfortunately, next time will be her last because she's about to become a nurse guys. Oh my God, but that's not the point. But I'm just letting you guys know this in case you guys are wondering why I was holding her fingers a certain way or moving it around a lot. Next for this nail, I will be doing an ombre nail and after I place my bead, I'm going to make sure that the acrylic stays on top of the nail as I'm getting the top of the bead flat to the nail before dragging it down. y'all y'all can't even see no blue on the top or the sides and if you did see any blue on the sides i'm literally gonna end up falling under her nails anyway just to make sure that the blue is only visible underneath her nails
as that part of the nail is drawing I am going to go into the application for a pointer finger and I ended up using the same color so I shouldn't have filed it down this much. So now I'll be using my Mia Secret Pink to make a ombre nail and as I'm doing this I'm still going to make sure that the top of the bead is flat to the nail before I start to blend it downwards. Guys remember to make sure that your brush is a little damp as you're starting to blend your acrylic down you do not want to be using a dry brush. I am now going to apply a very thin layer of clear acrylic to this nail just so that I could seal the design and make sure that I don't mess up the ombre effect when I'm starting to shape these nails before moving on to the thumb.
I honestly really liked how these came out and I'm glad that the purple covered that blue so well because I was a little anxious about it at first but it really did cover the blue extremely well. So now I'm using my 5-in-1 nail bit to seal the cuticle area and I do apologize if you guys can't see me too well. And I also apologize for my nails because this is ridiculous. <laughs> so when you are sealing the cuticle, you do want to make sure that you're using your drill on a very low speed. And as I said, I am using a fine drill bit. Now when you are sealing the cuticle area, you're making sure that no liquid will be able to get underneath the nail because of course that will cause lifting. Here I'm following the side walls of her nail as well as the top of her nail and normally I follow the top of the nail until the whole thing is white and of course later on I will use my buffer to get all this I don't know if it's just me but that thumbnail is really talking to me like I really like the apex on her thumbnail like I want all my nails to be structured as perfect as her thumb right now First, like, thought. Like, damn, dad. So, by mistake, I did forget to record the first part of me applying her stones. 
but I am still using Zule Nail Bling Glue to apply my stones that aren't pixie crystals. Like, yeah. Now I've used the Zule Bling Glue for the pixie okay. crystals before <laughs> and they came off. So I do recommend using a gel and of course I'm going to leave that in the description box below as well. Yeah, that's different. This is different. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be careful. Yeah. I'm just so be careful. Hmm, Dad. All right. There's no reason for conversation. Yeah, this, like, what are you? What are you? That's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 It's not funny, but it's just yeah. like dead ass. Like, dad, you're not. See me again, Dad. There's no need to say anything, honestly. Ah, yeah, they should have. He should have. Oh, girl, yeah. So y'all, let me know if y'all want a stone placement video. I really wasn't too sure how beneficial it would be to you guys if I did a stone placement video. But someone did recommend it down below. So let me know if y'all want to see that. Right. I never understood like sessions with celebrities because technically they don't know you. Keep adding them, they're not even texting back. Yeah, like, 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 So as I'm wrapping these nails up as promised, I am going to post what the nails looked like before she even came to me when she first got them done. And I'm also going to post what they now look like. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And please be sure to leave some ideas down below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Maybe he didn't notice. Yeah, I don't know.